This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters and today I'd like to talk to you about five things. And these five things are either things that I have personally encountered in my numerous times on large commercial job sites. They're things that people have called in and told us and I thought, man, those things actually work really good. Or just questions that I've actually had or observations that I've had over the time that I've been dealing with the Rapid RH product line. The first thing is, we sell a four-bladed, three-quarter inch SDS hammer drill bit. Now this drill bit has a patented head design and it has four carbide cutters to ensure that the hole is as close to perfect as possible. There are other drill bits out there, but you need to ensure definitely, without a doubt, that with this drill bit, you're using an SDS hammer drill. True story. During a training class, somebody was using a non-SDS hammer drill with this drill bit. The drill caught, continued to spin, and actually split a brand new power cord out. Could have broke somebody's arm. Use the right tools for the right job. The second thing about the drill bit that I've heard I had a person call me and tell me that they were sitting there drilling the concrete and our drill bit just really wasn't that sharp. After I got the drill bit back, I realized the carbide was actually burned backwards. So the whole time the person was drilling in reverse on the hammer drill, not drilling into the concrete. So the second thing, make sure you have your hammer drill in the forward motion setting. Now. Either way, when drilling a hole, ensure that you use the Rapid RH insertion tool to verify the diameter prior to installing the sensor. Now, I was on a job site where they drilled holes, they put sensors in, huge job site. Came back, all of the sensors were full of water. What we found out was the plumbers were there and they were sweating the copper pipes in this new construction and they had dumped the water that they were using to cool the pipes into the sensor. So number three, ensure that if you have the ability, place these sensors in an area where uh, a wet trade is not going to be uh, using the same space. The next thing I heard is I had a gentleman call me up and he said, I can't get the sensor to work. The fingers just aren't long enough. And so when I finally started digging into it, I realized that he had installed the Rapid RH sensor upside down. So number four, ensure that when you install the sensor into the concrete, that when you look down, you can see the actual bullseye or contact points that are down inside there. And the last thing I thought was probably the best idea I would heard. We were on a really big job site. We did 10 or 15 sensors. We had actually backtracked to install some other ones. And by the time we had done that, 15 minutes had elapsed. All the caps for the sensors had disappeared. They were gone, nowhere to be seen. And what we found out was they had cleaning people or somebody there that was laborers that were cleaning for the trades. And they had scraped these things off not knowing what they were. We took three inch not to use name brands, but Monster or Gorilla Tape. Put an X over the top of it, put a do not disturb, put a date with when the test was set, so that at least people knew what was there. So you were able to protect the cap, protect the sensor, and ensure when you came back you knew how to find it. I hope you enjoyed those few little things that I've uh, encountered out in, the, out in the actual world. This is Jason Spangler with Wagger Meters signing off.